wording about world's best workforce. We're trying to align it with ABE and CTE and all of the other goals in the world's best workforce and making sure that the correct people are at the table for the advisories, making sure that um, at the state level, the field knows that we support the world's be best workforce and their summaries and their reports, making sure that people are invested in reading their reports or being part of writing their reports. And, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. And one really great idea was that before we go out and meet with districts and schools, we should we should read their reports on their yes. website so we know what's in there so that we can help them make those connections. All right, we're getting this more bullets. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to go all the we're way around. We're not going to so. get back. <laughs> but there are some notes within the summaries of some practices that we also may want to either highlight or build upon. And they're just a few to start with, but I think that even in the next iteration of the summaries, we might want to ask for more of that. So I think that would be a good place that we can also um, have an impact. All right, this is why moderators hold on to the microphone. Okay, I'm going to come back here. I'll pass the microphone to one person. All right, I'm not even really sure where to start. We had a good conversation, but it's, it, it's big and um, a bit overwhelming because we, we feel that there's just so much to do. So um, one thing that we kind of grappled with in our conversation here was really around a theme that we heard as we did our share outs was really the desire to better understand sort of what's behind some of the narrative and what's really happening and is the solution to that, you know, is, is, is the most successful approach to just ask for their narratives to be longer, to just ask for more detailed information, to ask for more data, to ask for them to just report more to, report more to us. Um, and, and if so, what, where will that get us? What will we do with that? Because that was, you know, it was a lot of, we're kind of hungry for more. Um, but we sort of thought that uh, really it's about not so much what they report to us, and not so much that compliance and monitoring piece, but actually what are we doing to assist and support? And so Greg articulated it kind of as a service model and how do we go really deep in collaborating and partnering around all of these areas that we talked about rather than simply asking for them to summarize more and submit it to the state, which we know um, can be very frustrating for districts and particularly superintendents. So a few other things that we talked through, uh, wanting to uh, create uh, some kind of toolkits or resources around stakeholder engagement, a really common theme around what does meaningful stakeholder engagement look like, how do we uh, have authentic conversations with stakeholders around the teacher equity piece and really defining that and providing some clear examples, um, and then each of the, the five areas of world's best workforce as well. And lastly, sorry, uh, really, really focusing on building one continuous improvement process for the agency so that all of our divisions, all of our programs are using the same comprehensive needs assessment process uh, and the same uh, uh, terminology and visuals and process for continuous improvement as well. So a few areas we talked about. Awesome. It's Thanks. become the three bullet report out. Um, Sorry. This is good. Um, and in fact, w one thought occurred to me, and I think it connects to a theme we heard from another, from the earlier report out, this idea of the report or the summary, not thinking of the summary as just a document, but actually the process of how the people who fill it out at the school or district level collaborate in building it, because that could be something that, that actually it may be, maybe has more of an impact even than the report itself. What department were you Yeah, what was, the, what was the department? What's our division name? We are in the, we are, we're, we're determining our division name, but we represent Achievement Integration, World's, TBD. <laughs> TBD, World's Best Workforce, and, and ESSA in general, and ESSA Accountability. So this is a multidisciplinary team, obviously. The name obviously is, is to be determined. All right, excellent. Who's doing it here? Tyler. And who are you? I mean, what's, uh, the, what's the division? We are the Division of School Support, which means nothing to, because we're all supporting schools. <laughs> um, I would like us to move to more of a division that says we support school improvement and educator effectiveness, which is a little more descriptive. Building off of what Stephanie's group mentioned, as we get our messages together and tools together and service together, um, our school improvement support infrastructure, the regional centers of excellence, and 
Lisa's Army, um, supporting Minneapolis and St. Paul and our educator effectiveness team. Many of us are the ones that will be out there on the ground sharing those messages and coaching um, educators and leaders toward these tools and efforts. So we spent most of our time really just clarifying what's ahead um, under our ESSA plan and what, what efforts through our staff are we expecting from our advocates now under World's Best Workforce or it m might be forthcoming? So it was a lot of clarifying conversation today. Great, thank you. And there's an awesome pyramid up here on the, on the wall that they'll explain to you if you come over. All right, what division are we talking about? Bobby. Yes, we this are. This is the, early learning, right? The division of early learning. So one of our goals is in um, going off what Tyler and, and Stephanie said, was to build greater capacity, not only among the Center of Excellence staff, but within all staff in MDE around um, school readiness. And what does it mean to be um, have your kids ready for school? So we need to build capacity of not only internally and with our Center of Excellence staff who are out you know, in these schools, you know, we. I, I feel that early learning isn't as comfortable of a topic for most of the TA staff for, for many other divisions and for the center, so we need to figure out how to build their knowledge and capacity so they can offer um, TA around early learning until we get money to get an early learning person in those centers. So that's kind of where our focus is. Among just um, re-looking at all the school readiness guidance that currently exists and being um, clarifying it more and being more specific around um, defining school readiness. All right, thank you. Bobby, who's gonna report? Carolyn. Yep, I'm Carolyn Cherry. I'm the supervisor for the results and improvement unit um, in special education. So Eric, Tom, and I came up for each of the topics. We have at least a goal or an action step in each part. So under stakeholder engagement, looking at the plans um, to have included statements from the advisory panels that are in each of the districts. So we're required to have a special education advisory panel and how is their input included in the world's best workforce plans and that they're, they're reviewing those plans for specific goals and activities related to students with disabilities and elevating those pieces and requiring that directors of special education are included in plan development and there's evidence that directors are being included while at the same time it's not a go fix the issues related to special education students in our district, that's, that's everyone's issue, um, but they certainly need to be included. So that's number one. And then for goals and results and related to data, the next piece was to ensure that we, we could see certainly in the data that um, there need to be targeted goals for special education students and making sure that there's a space in there where districts are targeting and writing specific goals related to special education student outcomes and probably in multiple categories across each of the five areas. Um, for topic four, uh, in using data, we're required to submit an annual performance report to the feds and it has different indicators that include things like graduation, uh, performance outcomes, transition, and so one of the things that we plan to do is to look at those APR outcomes by district and being able to align that and looking at their world's best workforce plan. So if we are identifying districts that are not performing well in APR indicators, what are they doing to address that in their world's best workforce plans and are there some piloted districts or areas where we can target and look at our relationships and our TA supports that we provide as an agency. And then finally under equitable access to excellent teachers and looking at, there's a lot of talk about teacher shortages and how do we have conversations around pairing whether highly qualified or other kinds of teachers with most vulnerable and how, are there ways to incentivize improvement and thinking about making sure that we have teachers that are supporting those um, vulnerable students in special education. And I made a comment earlier about PLCs, but I think that there needs to be some additional work and I don't know where we are at with that, but looking at evaluation of professional development across districts and how are they tying evaluation of professional development to student outcomes and are we utilizing those resources in the best way that we can. All right, thank you. 
Um, and last but not least, who's reporting out? You are, okay. And what division is this? The Division of Academic Standards and Social Effectiveness. So uh, we had a lot of conversations here about our role with supporting schools and supporting districts around standards implementation. And uh, as many of you are aware, uh, we've been spending uh, quite a bit of time over the last uh, year developing a online web portal for standards implementation. And so we really see that as one of our opportunities to, to connect in with the world's best workforce and how districts are, are implementing um, and looking at a broader array of different data and different information around effectiveness of, of instruction. And so one of the things that uh, kind of became an aha within our conversation here is really utilizing uh, the portal to identify what parts of that will be supportive of, of, of both writing and implementing the world's best workforce plans in the districts. And so the pieces of data, the parts of implementation, and, and having some uh, uh, delocations within the site to kind of help support uh, districts with developing their plans. So that's kind of where, where our conversation was, uh, was at here in, the, in our division. Awesome. And I think that concluded. Did I miss any divisions? Excellent. Thank you all. I hope you all will have a chance to complete the evaluations. On behalf of our team, I want to thank you for. Uh, we're very, very passionate about this work, and we love working with passionate people, and that was the case this morning. And then I think, um, you Stephanie, oh. you were going to say something? Well, just briefly, uh, because there's a food truck outside, and uh -huh. I just remember being on in Minneapolis Public School food truck is out there and I hear that they have some really delicious food, cash only, so that's my little plug. But thank you very, very much to Realm and West. I think we all got some really, really solid data today to take back and continue these conversations around what we can do collaboratively to better support districts. And I think we have some really, really good ideas uh, together in, in our teams with some, some common themes as well. So I know I have a lot to think about and uh, look forward to this ongoing work with, with all of you. So with that, I think, um, Oh, one last thing, the, the 508 compliant version is in my inbox, and so we will make sure that the full memo, because you all don't have that yet, right? The full memo is uh, is emailed to all of you so that you have an electronic version of all of the data that the PowerPoint went through, that we went through on the PowerPoint today as well. All right? Thanks again. Thank you. Oh, yes. I'm wondering if you guys collectively think that this information would be useful to districts. Not this, well, maybe this, but like access to the report and the presentation. Because it's going to tell them. No. Yes, but, right. and we think it would be, it would show them that we're actually looking at it and doing something with the information. Yep, when we have, a, when we have a, some next steps on our end, I think.